This video will show you how to dynamically compare data with different filter conditions using the Copy Columns 2 feature and how to add a dynamically changing filter label in a graph. This workbook contains information on the emission of various greenhouse gases by country over a period of years. The floating graph in the worksheet compares the emission of two gases as a function of time for one country. The country name and gas types are marked in the graph. Right now, the filter type is set to France. As we can see, although the emission of perfluorocarbons or PFCs has declined over the years in France, the emission of hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs has risen. On the other hand, if we change the filter to Japan, we can see that the emissions of both gases has declined over the years in Japan. This way, we can compare the greenhouse emissions of multiple countries using this dynamically updating graph. Let's look at how to set up this workbook and create this graph. Each column can only have one filter condition on it. Therefore, to compare data with two different filter conditions, we need to copy the relevant columns to new sheets using the Copy Columns 2 feature. This will keep the sheets linked, so if the information in Worksheet Raw changes, the new sheets will update. Select and copy columns Year, Gas Type, and Value to a new sheet and name it Type 1. We will do the exact same thing for a second sheet and name it Type 2. On the raw sheet, use this button to set a filter on the country column. We set a filter for the country France and sheet type 1 updated as well since all three sheets are linked. Set a filter on the greenhouse gas type in sheet type 1. Now this sheet shows only the HFC emission values for the country France. I'm also going to add a data filter in sheet type 2 to show the PFC emission values for the same country. To set multiple filters on one column, you need to create a corresponding number of sheets. Two sheets means you can set two filter conditions and so forth. We are going to create a graph to reflect the filters. Let's create a stacked plot of the emission value columns in the worksheets type 1 and type 2. Double click on the axis to set the axis rescale mode as auto so when the data changes the graph axis scale will update automatically. Do this for both X and Y axes on both layers of this graph. We also made some other customizations in the axis dialog that we will not show in this video. Let's do a linear fit on the data so that the trends of the emission values over time are clearer. Remember to set recalculate as auto. To add dynamic labels, select the filter label, go to edit, copy, then add a text object in the graph represented by that column. With the text box active, go to edit, paste link. Right click on the object to enable real time in the programming controls dialog so that the label updates when the filter is changed. We added similar labels to the bottom graph from sheet type 2 and a country label from sheet raw. Our graphs are now complete. Let's compare the PFC and N2O emissions over time for France by changing the filter in sheet type 1. It looks like emissions for both are declining. However, if we compare N2O and HFC for France by changing the filter in sheet type 2, we see that HFC emissions are on the rise. If we change the filter to Japan, we see that Japan has been successful in lowering emissions for both gases over the past few years. Let's add the graph to the worksheet by right-clicking on the gray part and selecting Add Graph. If we now change the country filter, the floating graph in the worksheet will update as well. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it helpful.